I thought he was that one. And this man knows those Midwestern chains. Him and Antoinette. That's all we know. got. I know. That's all we what do you got mean back that's home? all we... Oh, back... We're back home. Memphis. Oh. Like, when you graduate, like, high school or any type of big celebration, it's, hey, bro, let's go to Applebee's. Let's go to Chili's. We got a place called Rafferty's. Because the... What people love to eat in Memphis is chicken tenders. So they will go to your finest establishment and go, they ain't got no chicken tenders on this menu. And you're like, so do you. That reminds me. That's what I was going to say. Nigga, that's That's what what you do. I'm like, that's what you do. (laughs) This man, you take him anywhere. to get him away from chicken. Chicken sandwich, chicken tender, chicken wings. That's it. It took a minute to get you out of chicken duty, man. Man. Every single time we're like, okay, don't even think about it. And this if, guy's gonna order chicken. And then if you ask him, where do you want to well, go? Actually, I think Applebee's. Uh, Applebee's. Yeah. Applebee's. It's so easy, bro. It's like fuck. Two what do you, for twenty seven. What, what do you get at Applebee's? Two for twenty seven. What is that? Two, so, two chicken? meals. You get two meals for twenty seven dollars and an appetizer. It's a limited yeah. though. Like they have a no. special menu. No, oh, it's, it's not a, everything. It's a limited menu, but yeah. it's anything that ranges. What I get usually is the uh, bourbon chicken and shrimp. That's and really it good. Gives you like mashed potatoes, uh, some onions, and How all that. How are those guys still in business, man? man. Oh it's no, good food. it's good. No, bro. I mean like I bro, twenty-seven dollars in California for two people. Oh, yeah. and then they get and you, you the margaritas. Oh yeah, the margaritas. Yeah, the margaritas, right? Same like a price, eleven, twelve dollars, but it's a bowl. And they actually do like a. Uh, I think it's they do like ass six ball. dollar uh, drinks every month, so they just kind of change. What type yeah, of drink this, you get this, each one? This is like, uh, like you know the true you're, American. You're like a walking like, uh, man, Yelp. Uh, is he Yelp or what is it? No, he's a walking food chain. <laughs> I know, man. He knows all the spots. A trashy American. You know, uh, also restaurants. what I realize is I think it's just us. We live in a Bay Area bubble. Well, we're used to going to like uh, non-franchise places. Like we're accustomed to that lifestyle. Mm. Anywhere else, a chain food it's is all about a the franchise. But you also have to think about it. Like it's how. I guess it's different. How often do you eat out? Yeah. I think that also comes into play, right? Yeah. Because if you're eating out like every other day or whatever, at some point you have to start thinking, you can't be doing $100 every single, nah. you know what I mean? Or like $50 a, a meal. Yeah, that is true. Stretch that in a week or dude. Yeah. yeah. So you got to have to be smart on ways to wiggle around. Mm-hmm. That is true. You know what that I mean? That is true. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll tell you this I've been to Applebee's Maybe twice in my life Until I met this man And, and then now, within a span of I think There was a moment We went back to back to back I think we went like Four times Yeah In a week? No, no In a, like together. the Three months Maybe four really? month period Because we went, I went there, there like, For the uh, wedding dinner I think that's where it started No We went there for Antoinette's birthday That's it Yeah Started Antoinette's birthday And then went back again when For the wedding dinner mm-hmm. And then back again uh, just us as a four date. No, that's when it started first. We just did a date, and mm-hmm. you guys picked the spot, so we went to Applebee's, and then after that, uh, when Which you Applebee's helped is this? Natalia, is this the one on uh, Berkeley by the water? Alameda. Alameda. It's by, uh, uh, by Office Depot. Um, but Office Depot, Safeway, um, Trader Joe's. Wait, where are you guys at? Ross. Alameda, all the way down on Park, Park Boulevard. Office Depot, not Home Depot. You know where you go buy your hard drives. Yeah. Oh, Office Depot. Oh, yeah, you said Home Depot. I was like, wait, oh, yeah. there's another Home Depot in okay. Alameda. <laughs> no, Office Depot. Oh, all the way in the back. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. by the shopping yeah. center. Yeah, so it's closer to the uh, Trader Joe's side. Ah, okay. Yeah, Got right it. in Got between it. Coles and Trader Joe's. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, back to back. I've only been there maybe twice in my whole existence and until now, now until six times. Yeah, because <laughs> now they got For $26 for two people? Damn. Yeah. Now they got yeah. a bourbon uh, steak and shrimp. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's the margaritas that got me. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> that was it. We that like Chili's it. too. Like we go, actually we probably go to Chili's more than we go to uh, Applebee's. Never been to Chili's. What Chili's do you go to? It's the one, uh, it's kind of like San Leandro by the sheriff station and whatnot. It's like sheriff station, you pop a right, then a left, and then it's like this big old plaza. It's like a shopping center. Oh, you know what I'm okay, about? okay, you okay, got okay. The 24-hour fitness and all that. Okay, yeah, I think I know where you were. Mm-hmm. So um, we go there more than anywhere else, and we was actually upset one night because it got a little rowdy. Not us, but before we got there, it was like a, a fight that <laughs> turned into a shooting. And huh? so, yeah, 
And so they were like closed for like two weeks. Damn. So she was like, yeah, let's try Chili's again. And I'm going to tell you why we go to Chili's. So, so she was like, yeah, let's try Chili's again. We tried like three or four times within those two weeks and was like, mm. it ain't happening. <laughs> so Was it because they were closed? Yeah. Damn. Because of that one incident. And I was like. Jesus. It was one of those things I was like more mad that the incident happened because so I was my, trying to get some chili. <laughs> it's not those margaritas, so, is it? Chili's hook is a uh, thing called Texas cheese fries. And so it's basically like these regular ass fries, salt, pepper, whatever, cheese over the top, uh, green onions, jalapenos, bacon bits. And we just share those. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. Especially if you get them to do it right. Like if they don't burn How the do fries. You get them to do it right. Sometimes they burn the fries. Sometimes they don't give you enough toppings. But you get the perfect balance of all the toppings. Mm. So are you Define. the type of person that will send the food back to go make it right? No. Antoine, I will suffer through it. <laughs> Antoine, <laughs> she will, she tell him every time. I, I let her do all of it. She go, we're going to get the te- half order Texas cheese fries. We're going to give us extra bacon, extra jalapeno, extra um, green onions. And in my mind, I'm just like, you could just say extra toppings, but. It's, it'll be way easier. <laughs> oh, so you're <laughs> confirming that they're going to put those ingredients in your yeah. dish. Because if you don't say them, they ain't going to do they it. They ain't going to do it. Damn. So. Oh, okay. That's smart. So, yeah. So, she just says, she makes sure she says it, and then she gets the extra ranch, and then she gets the burger with all the extra toppings that she put on it. And then, I don't know why she don't remove the lettuce in the process, but she goes, <laughs> she'll order the whole burger and just take the lettuce off herself. <laughs> and she then, doesn't like lettuce? She don't like vegetables. I think it's the, it's the appearance. She don't of, like vegetables? No, she ain't a vegetable person. I mean, vegetables are, it's not something you like. It's necessity. Are you serious? Vegetables are good, I man. Vegetables. I are love good vegetables, for you, man. But loving them? I love yeah. vegetables. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, what, what, what's your favorite vegetable? Carrot. Yeah, duh. Carrot. Carrots. Carrots. Point, though. Yeah. So Raw carrot. So yeah. right now, Manny is going through this whole thing of like, oh, I don't like vegetables. But he's chewing through carrots. Like, that's <laughs> well, just, carrot, uh, technically, bro. Like, yes. What is it? Yesterday, I, it was like, what are they eating yesterday? And he's like, I want carrots. Yeah. Like strips of carrots. Yeah. Oh, he's eating whatever he's eating and just chewing on that. Hey, money. Yeah. I love carrots too. But that's the only vegetable. 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 Because carrots technically should be a fruit. Because they they're sweet. No, they're not. No, because they're in the category of taste-wise. They are in the category of fruit. They're very Celery. nice and sweet. Ugh. Yeah, I'm celery. Really? Yeah. I love, I love celery. celery. Anytime man. we get wings, I'm the one eating I am, celery. I enjoy oh, that. It's, if it's I have like to eat crunchy. celery, I have to dip it into that ranch oh, no, so much I, that I, it's just yeah. ranch and crunchy ranch. <laughs> I hate celery. All right. Well, favorite ver- vegetable that's not a carrot, broccoli. I love broccoli. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You steam if it, it right, if you it's put enough. Steamed, but not uh, overcooked. Lightly salty. crunchy. Uh, see, I'm a, I need a mushy broccoli. Oh, I like the crunchiness yeah. of it. I hate broccoli, broccoli, but now I'm I'm liking nowadays because Natalia keeps making it. Mm-hmm. Is f- uh, fried broccoli like it's roasted? It's oh, crunchy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you get a broccoli. little bit of a crunch. Yeah, that one I'm I'm starting to enjoy, and that and cauliflower if they're all both. cauliflower is good too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so then you eat vegetables. Is cucumber? Is cucumber vegetable? Or yeah, f- yeah. 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 cucumber. So I, I love me cucumber is a fruit. Season cucumber is a fruit. Seeds inside. What? Yeah. I thought it was a vegetable. Yeah. Seeds inside, fruit. Yeah, I would eat. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I guess I, mean, tomatoes, I, grew up I guess I do. I think I, I don't eat like all those. Vegetables. I think what I don't like is the is the the green green ones, the lettuces, the asparaguses. Oh no, if you get a good um, salad, man. Oh yeah. Again, salad. <laughs> I dip it in ranch so I don't have to taste the salad. No, yeah. I think it's it's getting it a nice, sauce. well done. Uh, I was, I was, uh, I was talking about joking. steak or salad? What no, you salad. Well done talking, salad. Well done. Like, what's the, the, the blend, what's a well done salad? A well done salad. That's like a medium is, rare salad, please. <laughs> it <laughs> has <laughs> all the ingredients mixed in it, right? So you got like the nuts, you got some cranberry. Like, so you like it, nuts? Uh, <laughs> When they're crunchy. So you just want to gobble, <laughs> gobble. <laughs> when they're crunchy, I'm in town for that. Yeah, you man. get them, you shake them and everything. <laughs> You're know, like, damn. It's it's a, um, as yeah. the people call it, a hearty salad. That's what I learned. A what? A 
A hearty salad. So hearty? 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 Yeah. What is that? I guess it's, it's a, good for your heart and the flow of your blood and all that. Oh, the type so, of vegetable? So no salads. more so have like more fruits and like you said, uh, nuts. So like no, it's yeah, almonds, like a mixed cashews, grain kind of, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that kind of stuff. Those I like but though. I hate ranch. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of ranch I do either. not do ranch. I can do ranch. With with uh, anything. I prefer vinaigrette. Vinaigrette, uh, olive oil, like something a little the, bit more. Whatever they put on the Caesar salad, is it ranch? Oh, I hate Caesar, Caesar salad. Or is it? Is I it think ranch? there's a Caesar dressing. There's a Caesar dressing. I like that one. I ranch by that. itself. I hate Caesar if salad. If I have no other option, I will I take it. I feel like it, it's, a, it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's just a lazy attempt of making a salad. <laughs> Throw these vegetables in there and throw, throw that sauce on. Just, just sauce it <laughs> up. <laughs> when your salad like, is trash, you, just put a ranch on it. You know, like you go to some, like especially like even traveling, you go like to the south. They're like, yeah. All we got is ranch. We we just yeah. sprinkle ranch on it because or or uh, Caesar salad because you know, we really don't want to make any of this. Fascinating with Antoinette's obsession with ranch. That's a California thing. That's what I've learned. The, Maybe. So yeah, Californians are big on ranch. When you with someone inside the ranch community, mm. you meet all kind of weirdos who just love dipping stuff in ranch. So when I go to Chili's and she goes, "I need two extra cups of ranch," she will sometimes bond with the waitress on how much they love ranch and who has the best ranch. And I'm sitting there like, "Are we really discussing who in town has the best ranch?" <laughs> These different types but, of ranch. Yeah, bro, and he, he confused me at the textures. ranch. I didn't even know there was a ranch community. I didn't even know yeah, that. Is, I just find so, well, it there's because they mix the ranches like ranch hot sauce, like they mix it uh, with a yeah, they ranch? match. You see, uh, buffalo ranch, yeah. but there's like they mix it with shit. You know, Americans don't mix shit and sell it, package it. The, Isn't it Chipotle a mixed ranch technically? Most of it is like mixed with like a aioli or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's like half like and chipotle half. Chipotle sauce. Chipotle sauce is oh. mixed with ranch. Yeah. It's, and then some other shit in there. Yeah, I'm. Look, I I don't care. Just give me the ranch, and I'll do what I need to do. If it's a salad, vinaigrette. If it's wings, give me ranch. That's it. You do. That's because you, you guys do wings and ranch. Yeah, my buffalo wings. Is it to tone down the spice? No, it's just a good. Because I feel like you tone flavors. down the spice, right? I want to look. You know, I want to mean mug you, but then I've seen so many people do it. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a great combination of flavors. It just tastes court to me. I think mm. Nanu orders honey mustard. That's what it honey is. mustard is nice. But not with buffalo. Not with buffalo, though, no. It's with it's a, your fries. So we'll do a honey mustard buffalo. Because now that There's the, a honey mustard buffalo? Now that the spicy nuggets are back at McDonald's, what I do is I take my honey mustard sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go to another chain. <laughs> when the spicy nuggets went away, I was in distraught. I was you like, saw, how do you, saw, you not have the spicy nuggets? You saw that nuggets? transition? <laughs> That's <laughs> where these sauces came from. <laughs> Man, this is like a journey. Uh, this is like a peaceful journey. I like that transition into McDonald's. Like just like slide that in, man. He said, "Not on the spicy wings." I was like, "Who? What? Yeah. Applebee's got another no, one." Like, oh, okay, the spicy nuggets. Oh no, we were done with Applebee's. We were chilies. Apparently, okay, go ahead. And we're there All for right, the we, ranch. We caught up. We caught up. Yeah. And, uh, now we Texas had, cheese fries. And the Texas cheese. Why that are they called really Texas good. cheese fries? Because it's They're cheese Texas steak. restaurant. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. okay. And then now McDonald's. That's good fajitas too. Yep. That chilies? Yeah. They do oh, great fajitas. You know where Is I've never fajitas been Is it fajitas like a, a, a Mexican thing? Tex-Mex. What is Tex-Mex? Texas Mexican. Oh, Tex Mex. So Chili's is a Texic, uh, Texican. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. Texican. That's, a, that's, that's really it. That's what. That's a real word. It's a Texas. It's a, te it's a oh, Texican really? restaurant. Oh, okay. Well, so I mean, it makes sense because the Texas. chili is Mexican. Texas and Mexico. Well, it's like yeah. Texas. It makes sense though. Chili's is uh, Mexican. Now, oh, it is. Yeah. You know, I go to this Tex Mex Americans restaurant. Americans don't do chilies. And I love the Tex Mex restaurant. I still get the pasta. <laughs> Isn't that Italian? Yeah, it is. I think the one thing I don't that's like about good. these chains is they have everything. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. when you know it's horrible. Yeah. You can't do everything. You can't. You need to specialize in. Don't get eat. the fish. I think at don't most of these any restaurants with never fish, man. get the salmon. Because that comes from Safeway. Even Denny's <laughs> has a salmon. Yeah. I would never order a salmon from Denny's. <laughs> the only thing you order in Denny's is egg-related things. No. That's what you should order. That's the only thing they're good at. I'm telling you right now. 
the French toast. They Makes sense. Toast. Oh, breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Breakfast oh, stuff. Right? Breakfast. Don't they sell breakfast? The, they never close, right? No. Yeah, bro. Isn't that the, yeah, the they whole name? Yeah. They're pretty good. Uh, they have a whiskey burger that's pretty good. I don't know about that. But I, I there was a time, like smack dab on COVID, I had an obsession with their zesty nachos. Mm. Their zesty nachos is very, very, like, it has this, it's okay, but then it has this addictive thing where you just want more of it. Mm. And then at some point, I just ate so much. And I was like, I am sick and tired of this. Now I can't even stand the sight of it. Because I you're, ate so much of it. Like You were maxed out on it. I'm maxed out. Like, I'm telling you, like that 2020, those mm-hmm. couple months, it was like every other day. 2020 was COVID. Yeah. Every other day was a meal with those zesty nachos. Um, I was obsessed with that. Yeah. Never. But speaking of food chain, the one I've always wanted to go to, but I've never had the chance is the, the one where the the chef cooks in front of you. Oh, Benny Hanna's? Oh, Benny Hanna's. Benny Hanna's is a lot of fun. I've never been You've to never one. been to one? I've never been. I don't even know where there is one. Uh, yeah. The one, I, there's one in San, San Francisco. But, uh, no, there used to be one. Oh, it closed. The one in Berkeley. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Um, the only Did one I knew down? was Milpitas, actually. Milpitas. That's one I went to. Check the Berkeley one. I don't know if it closed. But I, there was a Benihana by the water. Hmm. And there's By the waterfront? Yeah. No, I was just yeah. there. I didn't see any Benihanas. No, Berkeley. there used to be one. I think it's There's a waterfront st- restaurant, but there's no Benihanas. Where are you? In uh, Berkeley? Berkeley Marina. I was just there. Uh the photo I showed you where I was shooting by the water, we were there. We are looking around. I don't see anything. I thought that yet. was Emeryville. Mm. There's two of them. No. Yeah. Emeryville has a Chinese restaurant. No, I thought you were in Emeryville. You no, looked that like was the Emeryville one. The Emeryville one, it closed it's, down because yeah, that's where it far. used to be. Yeah, because I'm trying to think because I remember seeing it once when during COVID and I remember I was reading something about Benihana's. Some of the stores were closing at that time, so I'm not sure if it was. Yeah, I think that, yeah. That but too. there used to be one in Berkeley. I went yeah. to that one too. It's He's fun right. though, right? It's good. It's yeah, good. It's cool. and we did I only see the videos uh, of the people that are chopping it up. Make sure you get somebody authentic. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it other than that. <laughs> Make sure you get somebody authentic. <laughs> Wait, the one we did, uh, the version of Benihana, the one we did in... Uh... What if they identify us? <laughs> <laughs> well, they better identify themselves back in the kitchen. <laughs> Bring somebody real. <laughs> <laughs> they identify themselves back to the kitchen. That's a good one. That is a good one. Find your way back there. <laughs> Give me somebody real from the place that Benihana comes from. <laughs> <laughs>